hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here you are welcome so today we're going to be making cameroonian roasted fish also known as burning fish in cameroon we call it burning because anything that we roast in cameroon we refer to it as burning in cameroonian pigeon traditionally you're supposed to use a charcoal grill for this dish but i know a lot of you don't have a charcoal grill at home so i'm going to be showing you guys an easy oven method so let's get straight into the ingredients and start this recipe ready. So our first ingredient is fish and we are going to be using mackerel fish. We call this in Cameroon as mackerel. So imagine how I felt when I came here and someone said mackerel. I was like now wow when I want mackerel so. <laughs> Anyways our second ingredient is going to be my green seasoning. I'm going to be using 10 tablespoons of this green seasoning. It consists of ginger, garlic, onions, celery and other spices. If you're interested I already have a video on my channel so check it out. We're also going to be using jangsa and the English name for jangsa is also called akpi. So shout out to Ekene for telling me what the English name is. He's one of my subscribers. So thank you so much. We're also going to be needing six seeds of pebe, also known as African calabash nutmeg. You guys, pebe has this amazing flavor that is just going to get your fish just tasting so good. This is what pebe looks like when you open it up. So you're supposed to take the pepper and then peel it up, okay? Peel it. And then we also have white pepper. This is a teaspoon of white pepper and white pepper just goes so well with fish. Then we're also going to be needing one tablespoon of maggi. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is I have eight cups of water here and I've already seasoned it with one, one and a half tablespoon of um, salt. So I'm just going to put the fish inside. What this water is doing is it's seasoning the fish and it's also cleaning the fish and it's going to keep the fish very moist and juicy which we need. So I'm going to season it in there for 30 minutes. While the, the fish is seasoning, I'm going to be working on the other ingredients. I'm just going to blend all the other ingredients together in the blender and this is what the mixture is looking like you guys just look at that you can already tell say eh, the burning fish go this let me say the burning fish go bad and i can now wait so after the fish has been in that water for about 30 minutes i'm going to take it out from the water um use a paper towel to take off the excess water from the fish then i'm going to transfer it into this pan i've already oiled the bottom of this pan with oil because this is the pan that i'm going to be baking the fish in so anyways i'm just going to put the seasoning inside the fish as you can see the fish is already cut it has all these little cuts i have about five to six cuts per side so i'm just going to season the entire fish it's important that you cut your fish because when you cut your fish um the seasoning really goes inside the fish and it makes the fish even more tasty so here i'm also seasoning the inside of the fish So this is what the fish is looking like after seasoning as you can see we are not here to play baby we came to season just look at this fish you can tell that this fish is well seasoned anyway so after this i'm just going to let the fish sit out for about 45 minutes and then after that i'm just going to put it in the oven so this is what the fish is looking like after seasoning for about 45 minutes then i'm going to be putting it in the oven no we are not going to be baking the fish we're going to be broiling it and we're going to be broiling broiling it on low setting broiling the fish makes the fish more juicy and more tasty in my opinion so this is what it looks like after broiling for about 10 minutes on low then i'm going to be adding more seasoning at this step you can um just use oil and maggi but i'm just choosing to use the seasoning because i still have a lot of the seasoning left so i'm just going to be broiling this and then after that i'm going to be putting it in the oven again and i'm and i'm going to change the um broil setting from from low to high so now we're broiling it on high and look at that fish guys look at that fish just sizu only langa where did you now so i know go make your own fish <laughs> anyway so this is what the fish is looking like and it broiled for about five more minutes on high then i'm going to be flipping it over 
So this is what the fish looks like after flipping over, then I'm going to be adding more seasoning. If you've noticed, this seasoning looks a little bit lighter and that is because I'm only using Maggi and oil. Remember I told you for this step, you can either use Maggi and oil or you can use your original seasoning that you started with. So this is what the fish is looking like after seasoning, then I'm just going to put it back in the oven and I'm going to broil it on high for 5 more minutes. So let me give you guys a rundown. When we started, we put the fish in the oven and we broil it on low broil for 10 minutes and then took it out we added extra seasoning on the same side and then we broil it for five more minutes on high heat on high broil and then after that we took our fish out and then we flipped it over we added extra seasoning and then we took it back to the oven and we broil it for another five minutes on high so all together we brought our fish for 20 minutes 10 minutes low and 10 minutes high so this is what my fish is looking like guys my fish is finally ready after being in the oven for 20 minutes just look at that just oh just look at that i'm going to be eating my fish with bobolo with some sauteed carrots and um onions that i added celery parsley and basil you know just for extra flavor and also with some fish spice and also some pepper sauce you guys this fish was just amazing it was so delicious it was so tasty it was so moist it was so juicy it just took me back memory lane and i had this fish on 20 on 20th may just because i just wanted to have that national day experience you know what i mean now anyways guys so we are done and this is the final result thank you guys so so much for watching wait 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 if you're interested in seeing how i make my fish sauce then continue watching so in an empty pot, I'm going to be adding 3 tablespoons of oil, then I'm going to be adding my green seasoning. I think I have about 7 tablespoons. I have the one that the leftover of what I use for the fish and some more that I took from what I have home. Then I'm also going to be adding a pinch of Maggi for taste, then I'm just going to mix everything together. You guys, as you can see, this thing is looking a little bit oily. Just leave it like this though, because mine was looking like this and I decided to reduce the oil. When I went back there, the thing had soaked up all the oil and it was looking like there was no oil which i was very pissed so if your thing is looking like this just leave it like this and you're frying it for about five minutes it doesn't take long you guys and then for my pepper sauce i'm just I already blended my pepper sauce and i'm just putting it inside the same pot that i used to um, make my green seasoning and i'm just going to fry it I'm also adding a little bit of Maggi for taste. I'm not adding salt because <laughs> when I'm cooking small things like this, I barely add salt because my hand is very big on salt. I tasted the pepper and the pepper was too spicy. So I blended tomatoes and I just added it there so it could reduce the heat. Then I'm just going to let that fry for about seven minutes and this is what it's looking like it's ready you guys thank you so much for watching until next time subscribe <laughs>